Muslims heavily supported in the previous presidential elections, President Biden, and um, majority of the Muslims overwhelmingly support a Democratic Party. But the response from President Biden, Secretary Blinken, and the, the whole you know, Democrat Party was, was very distressing. The overwhelming response from the community is, we are just going to sit out, we are not going to vote. I think um, it is really going to hurt the Democratic Party. Something has fundamentally broken in the hearts of many Muslim and Arab American Democrats. Um, they don't see the president treating um, Palestinian lives and Israeli lives equally. Um, many people see the president as greenlighting the far-right government of Netanyahu in Israel, which um, does not believe in Palestinian human rights, which does not believe in Palestinian statehood. We're seeing this generation come out into the streets in America at protests and rallies because they're a pro-peace and they're an anti-war generation. And if we don't have young people turn out like they did in 2020 or 2022 for Democrats, I don't see how the Democrats or President Biden can win re-elections. Biden has been helping uh, Israel a lot. Like we're losing a lot of family members back home and it's been hurting us. Like it's really sad seeing what's happening. The things that's going on right now, Arab people feel like they're in danger right now in America. That's how it feels like, because like some people walk around, they're scared to say they're Arab just because of the thing that's happening right now.